everyone uh welcome back to my channel today we are focusing on finishing our joja farm so our joja run has been so crazy so far last time we had to end off super early with only the first week of summer being done which means that today we are continuing with the rest of summer could potentially be the last or second to last season in this run which is really exciting but also I am just so excited to get into this and get more of our um, development form checked off and everything that has to do with that. Most of this, you know, next few weeks is a lot of like sleeping, watering, getting ready like for, you know, the crops to be done. But I'm just excited to see what we're able to make happen. And as always, our rain days are probably going to be fishing this time solely because it makes us a ton of extra money and we've been finding that super helpful. <laughs> but yeah, let's get right into it and see if we can maybe finish this run today. All right, so we're going to start off with... I was just... Oh, I didn't mean to do that twice. That is okay. Um, just checking for rain days. It's summer though, so we don't really see a lot of rain days. All right, now that the watering's done, I'm just gonna check to make sure all of our crops over here are doing well. They're thriving. They are thriving. All right. I think the hardest part about this is skipping all of the night times, uh, or like skipping the most of the days, but it's just like, I could go fish, but if I don't have to, and I could just, actually I'm just gonna keep my watering can on me. Um, if I can just water until they're done, it definitely is going to be more helpful, I think, in the way to, like, skip the nights, water, and keep going. Um, we really haven't been getting any rain days. I did just realize one of our crops is finished, so we should grab that. Do I have any? Let's see if I do. We are not going to be going to the Luau because we don't need to. <laughs> um, we are focused.
Oh. I forgot to check. They're in sunny. So much sunny weather in summer. I hate it. I want rain because I, I want to be able to do fishing days. Back to sleep we go. All right, we get a fishing day. We're gonna go to the ocean today to do fishing because we have a rain day we're also gonna grab forageables to sell along the way it's Saturday so it is like a foraging day anyways but I figure getting a little bit of fishing done will also be really good for our gold count um, but I'm not going too far out of my way I will however uh, grab anything off the beach because I know some of the beach foraging in summer can be very beneficial for money and then we'll get fishing so many forageables today. I lied. We're going to need to go sell this and then we'll go ahead and uh, come back to do fishing because that is so many forageables. We'll go sell it all and then we'll go back and fish. Wouldn't have any inventory space for fish if we uh, kept that. And now we're going to the beach to do fishing. Also, guys, if you guys did not know, um, today is 
hopefully just we're gonna get so much gold and we can finish this run um the 1.6 update comes out in eight days how crazy
All right, let's go check what that train had. I'm, I'm just always curious. Sometimes it's really important resources. Sometimes there's nothing, but I may as well check it out super quick. And then we'll head back to the farm, sell all our fish from today, and then we will be good to sleep. And then see how much we made off of fish that day. Plus we'll pick up any forageables we can see along our walk back to the farm. Again, just to sell as well. Yeah, it looked like it wasn't a train that was going to drop anything for us, which is okay. Off we head back to the farm. Sell all this and then sleep. There's lots of forageables here. Perfect. Please spirits, and that was still not bad. Okay. Interesting. Level nine fishing. Forging. Really good day. A lot of forageables. Mildly perturbed spirits today. Maybe the next day, and let's just do the Queen of Sauce for fun. Okay, so it is a harvest day and then a watering day, so we are in for a treat. Everything is <clears throat> harvested now. Let's throw all of this in our shipping bin. <clears throat> and then we'll water. Alright, level 7 farming. This is like the moment of truth here. How much did we make? Okay. We're in motion.
We are in motion. Yeah, we're we're in motion, guys. All right, let's try it. Sunny day tomorrow. Okay, so I am going to take a little bit of time today in this in-game day. One, to sell a couple things, but two, there's a little bit of cleaning up on the farm I'd like to do. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and do that super quick. I'm just noticing a ton of like these little trees popping up and just don't want anything ending up getting too, too close. I also want to make a clearer path to get to our other crop farm. So may as well use a little bit of energy today to do so. That's everything that's getting too too close. You really didn't realize you can't sell hay. I probably did, but it's all good. We're getting a lot of clear and sunny days. I think that's okay, though. I wanted to quickly mention why I chose um, blueberries to be my main form of, of money in this run. And I kind of wanted it to be like, um, I guess just I, I decided that I wanted to be able to make as much money as quick as possible. And the thing is, now that I've already done the first two things for Joja, total, which totaled, um, what was it, like 20,000 gold, meaning I needed 115,000 gold 
to finish the run, I kind of decided that that would be the most beneficial because I knew that they can make the gold super fast. Plus the other part of it being you just you can plant so many of them. I've kind of been doing this pattern for my watering. It just makes it a lot easier. I think this in-game day, I think I'm going to sell the rest of those like forageables and stuff. This is most likely going to be one of the last seasons, if not the last season that we have to do for this run. So I think I should be okay to um, go ahead and just sell most of that. I'm not going to be going into the mines anymore. I don't really have a need to. Um, so I think, yeah, it's just going to be more beneficial there. Um, but yeah. Sell that. Oh, whoops. all this a little bit of cleaning up of our chests I don't think I checked this sunny day again Oh, wow. Okay, so I had a ton in forageables that I guess I just needed to sell. Well, that's good. At least we were able to make something out of the mess that I had. sunny day happy spirit and harvest day <laughs> Okay, so that's another blueberry harvest completed. Let's collect from our cave as well. May as well just get some more stuff to sell.
Okay, I have a feeling that once we sleep to skip the like to skip over to the night for this one, I have a feeling we are going to be sitting in such a great spot that I just I have such a good feeling about today being the last day of this run and that I'll be able to make this all into one video. I have such a good feeling about it. And usually with stuff like that, I question it. But I think it's possible, seeing as we've already increased our gold so much and we're so close to being done. But I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much this sell was. This is going to be like our key factor in letting us know if, you know, how we're sitting. Okay, level eight farming. Okay. So 36,000 gold for this day. 35. That was actually a little bit higher than our last one. Where does that put us sitting with our gold? <laughs> 88,000. Meaning I think we only need one more harvest before we can purchase the rest of them. So what we'll do today is we'll wait and I think we'll go try to purchase, um, we'll go purchase one today and we'll just start purchasing the rest of them. going to forage along the way to get as many forageables as we possibly can on our way to Jojmart. Okay, there's nothing down there. Hello, Morris. Yes. So today we are going to do the panning one. And then tomorrow we'll do the bridge. It is absolutely insane to me just how much we've done. I'm going to collect foraging today. Um, just have a little bit of extra, extra gold. Plus, it gives me a chance to... I don't know. I'm just, I'm so excited. This run has been so fun and I've been actually thoroughly enjoying it. I've never done Joja before. But it's actually not bad, despite the fact that I'm disappointing Pelican Town by doing that. It's still been a really relatively fun run, and I'm super duper excited to like see the Joja cutscene for the first time. I do need to decide what I'm doing after this. So we got a few forageables to sell. And let's see our Joja cutscene overnight. I 
I wonder how Morris stays up all this time for all of these upgrades. Alrighty, day 20 of summer, year one. Oh! I didn't know it was going to be a rain day. Okay. Let's head to the beach. I was unaware that it was a rain day today. I thought I checked and it was not, but that's okay. Just means we get a fishing day. And we're starting with foraging. So we'll forage and then we'll go back and fish if we get too many forageables. Okay then. This is so many forageables down at the beach. We'll have to go back, sell these, and then go back again because that is like so much. Before I do that, I'm gonna go trigger the panning cutscene. Even though I'm probably not going to use the copper pan, I still wanted to have it. Just as like that proof that I did do, you know, all the things I set out to do. Now we'll go do the fishing. <laughs> Let's see how many fish we catch today.
We are going to head over to Jojamart and we are going to go ahead and purchase another upgrade and then sell all of our fish and then we're good to go on that front. So exciting. After this, we'll only have two more things left on our Joja form. It feels crazy. Hello, Morris. Perfect. Now that that's upgraded, or will be overnight, off we head to the bus stop to head home. Can hope that was nothing important that broke. <clears throat> Don't need anything there. Oh, hello, Morris. Good to see you again. Thank you for repairing our bridge. <laughs> A really good foraging and fishing day again. I think our last one as well brought in a great amount of gold as well. Day 21 of summer. Sunny day. And queen of sauce because why not? I think we should just head and go check over the quarry. I do just want to make sure none of our crops were impacted by that lightning. It wasn't perfect. During the lightning strike, you can never tell where it's going to hit. So I was like, oh no, did it break something? Take my pickaxe. Let's go check out the quarry. Iridium node? Oh, can I not break it at all? I didn't know that. Oh, that's not good.
Huh. That's unfortunate. I thought that it always had a stick stone. There's near it. Okay. Moving on to the next day, I went to go look it up, but I can't see anything about it. Interesting. All right. Harvest day. I didn't know that was already today. Okay. Okay, so we are going to sell all of the stuff that we just got today. And then I think we should head over to Joja and purchase another bundle, which is our, or like our things on the form, which should be our second to last one, if I'm not mistaken. It is 9 a.m., which means we get to go buy another thing off of the form. Today we are buying the greenhouse. Now, we have, it says we have 16,000 gold. However, as we know, once we sell off tonight's, uh, or like the blueberries that we just harvested today, that should give us enough for our last and final upgrade. Tomorrow is also a fishing day, seeing as it's, I think it's going to be a rain day tomorrow. I think that's what it said. So we'll still fish. We'll still do our usual day as we would. And I'm very excited. I do need to water though.
Alrighty, now that we've watered, I think we're good to go ahead and... I'm just gonna double check on that rain day. It is a rain day, perfect. We'll go fish the next day. Oh, look, we're getting our greenhouse. Oh, how exciting. Another really good gold day, another really good blueberry harvest. This was definitely our best bet for finishing this as now. That's enough to finish our last bundle. Like our last thing on our form is done. Or will be today. So let's head off to the beach and then we'll go fish. And we'll collect some forageables at the beach and we will go and do our final upgrade. Um, I'm gonna sell these now. Uh, we'll go get our final upgrade by the end of this in-game day. Which means I should be able to trigger the cutscene tomorrow for a finish date of the 24th of summer. But I didn't check. I don't think I checked for the weather, so I'll check then because i'm pretty sure same with the community center is you have to trigger the cutscenes for it on a nice day if i'm not mistaken and we'll grab beach forageables after we're done this
All right, let's head off to Joja Mart, purchase our final upgrade. I'll grab the beach forging super quick actually, and then we'll head to Joja. See what we can do. And then I'm, I gotta check the TV because I forgot to check if it's gonna be a nice day. <clears throat> I'm hoping it is a sunny day. If it's not, then we'll have to um, wait for a sunny day. Off we go to Joja Mart. I think overall, this has been so fun. It is time. Yes. We got our workers on it tonight. It should, should be ready for you by tomorrow. Our last upgrade. How exciting. All right, now that we sold everything, let's go to sleep. Get our final clean. Oh wait, first weather, clear and sunny, perfect. The bus has been repaired. I'm so excited. The little workers are very cute. The neutral day for the spirits, it is not a neutral- Oh! Hello! Hello, Evelyn. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. It looks even better than I remember. Aww. Okay, we got the garden pot from Evelyn. Alright, let's go. Is this it? Is this the final cutscene? It is! Let's go! There she is, everyone. Look sharp. We did it! Ahem. Just a few short years ago, the great innovators at Joja headquarters came up with a, a new idea, the Joja Community Development Project. The project was conceived as a way to provide important construction services to the beloved communities we hold so dear, all while generating substantial revenue. <laughs> Pelican Town, with its rundown infrastructure, was a perfect testing grounds. Well, thanks to you, our community development pi pilot project... the. Thanks to you, our community development pilot program has been a major success. From repairing old bridges to fixing buses to turning piles of rubble into a greenhouse, we've really turned this city around. I've also received a big promotion. <laughs> uh, the president of the company asked me to give you this exclusive gift as a way of saying thanks. I received a soda machine. I got my Jojo machine, my soda machine. Let's go. Ah.
Alrighty. This has been such a cool, I guess, experiment. I had never done the Joja Mart, but for this YouTube video challenge, I really wanted to try my best at seeing if I could get this done before the 1.6 update, which ended up coming a lot sooner than I thought, and we were still able to complete it in less than two in-game months which I find I'm actually quite impressed with myself for being able to do it that fast. There is definitely way faster ways to do this, but I think this was really fun. I had a really good time doing it. Honestly, I'm also going to be able to get this video out as the sixth and final part, which I think is just really amazing. And yeah, to everyone who's watched this series on YouTube, thank you. <laughs> um, I have a ton more videos coming soon and I can't wait to see what 1.6 holds, especially for Joja, because I know that there is some stuff coming for Joja, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Never get old. Mm -hmm.